Shalom, it's Mariah Elisa with Mariah Shelley Village. I am winding down to the end of planning for the 2017-2018 school year. Um, typically, I begin planning our literature and our history first. One, because I most of the time they complement each other, and two, they take me the longest to do. So, I am done with my upcoming sixth graders literature plan for next year, and I wanted to share one of the books that he'll be reading. I will do a full video with everything later, but right now I just wanted to focus in on this title. Um, so this title is called Tales from Shakespeare, and I'll let you see it. Tales from Shakespeare. It has some tape over there, but that does say tales. Okay, um, I'm going to be using this text for his entire middle school career in terms of getting his Shakespeare exposure in. Um, so this book has 10 plays and it is a mixture the drama the comedies there's one more that i can't think of right now drama comedy there's another one sorry but it does have 10 so we're going to read three of them for sixth grade three of them for seventh grade and four of them for eighth grade and i've already gone through and decided which one that'll be but i will read you the 10 plays covered in this text um, a Midnight Summer Dream, Hamlet, Much Ado About Nothing, Macbeth, The Tempest, Othello, As You Like It, Romeo and Juliet, Twelfth Night, and King Lear. So my goal for middle school literature is to expose him to lots of literature that he'll have to really, really use in high school, be expected to use in high school, obviously on a higher level and in a much deeper way. But at least when he gets to high school, he won't be like, wait, it's my first time hearing about Shakespeare. He would have had um, some knowledge about who he is as a playwright, a little bit of biography about him, and then obviously his body of work. Okay, so one of our requirements um, for our homeschool is that the children are exposed to Kadir Nelson's work. I am a fan of him, whether it is his illustrations or his authorship and both, or both. And so I got really stuck when it came to sixth grade planning for my oldest son because he tends to illustrate and write a little bit more for elementary, lower and upper, and then the older the children get, um, not so much. So I was just very, very perplexed, like what am I gonna do to expose him to Kadir Nelson's work um, for sixth grade. And when I came across this title, this is one of the reasons that I chose it, Kadir Nelson actually has um, an illustration uh, for one of the titles in this book. So I was very happy for him to get that exposure. Um, another reason that I chose this title, and I'm gonna go through and show you in a little bit, is it has accurate depictions of some the settings and the people uh, for some of the plays that Shakespeare wrote. Um, all of the plays that Shakespeare wrote are not set in Europe. Um, some of them do have a black or an African influence and I want my, my sons to see that and then it's actually depicted in the illustrations here. So I'm gonna show you um, Othello. Othello is the one who is actually um, the one that Kadir Nelson illustrate. You can recognize his work anywhere. So this is Othello, right? And so this is Kadir Nelson's work. But you see, he is portrayed as a man of color or a black man. This is important to me. Um, so this is one of the reasons that I chose this text. It is not um, in print, so you have to find a third party, but this is amazing. So one of the things that I did in choosing this text was I kind of flipped through. I wanted to review the main players. It kind of gives you a, a good synopsis of the play. And so for Othello, it says that he's an African prince who became general of the army of Venice, Italy. Love, love, love. Because this is actually, this is actually what happened. This is actually how um, the play is written. And I know that's not always obvious. Um, when we learn about Shakespeare in other settings. So obviously in my homeschool setting, I wanna be able to point that out. And I believe, I believe it's Macbeth, let me see. Yes, Macbeth has a little color. Very excited about that. And I believe there's one more play in here too um, that does. So Shakespeare wrote 
plays that are set from all over the world. So I have no problem introducing Europe and um, some of the other nations that his plays are set in. I just want to make sure that it's not whitewashed and that it's looked like as Shakespeare only wrote about Europeans, only set in Europe, and it's completely Eurocentric. That's not what I want to be teaching my children. So definitely check this out if your child is at the Shakespearean age. This can be used for upper elementary um, if you're just going to read together. It could also, I mean, you can do it for lower elementary too if the parent is just going to read to the child. Obviously in the middle school level, he's going to be reading this himself and then I have several literary activities to accompany with this as he learns about the play itself and as he learns about Shakespeare as a playwright. All right, so Tales from Shakespeare by Tina Packer. Shalom.